What's up, guys? I'm Jermaine Seguiers, motivational speaker and founder of Life After Sports. Now, Life After Sports is a positive movement to actually feature and showcase successful athletes and show the great things they're doing with their free time away from sports, whether it's career, philanthropy, health and well-being, personal growth. And I have an honor of actually our first, we are more than just athletes, successful athlete, Travis Garrison, on a Skype video chat with us right now. Travis, how we doing, man? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Honored to be on your show today, man. Hey, man, it's an honor and privilege. I, I grew up watching you at University of Maryland, the Matha. I seen you down at the Spingar National Championship game. And believe it or not, I walked past you at the uh, Verizon you know, Subway. But uh, I guess uh, you, I say what's up. You say what's up. And it, was, it was cool, but it was yeah. probably a lot of people asking you uh, congratulations. Well, that's cool, man. So, so, Travis, for the people who do not know you, Share a little bit about who you are, your academic background, where you're from, and some of your, your sports you know, goals and accomplishments. Uh, well, I'm Travis Garrison. I'm from Suitland, Maryland. I grew up in Suitland. Uh, went to play at the Matha Catholic High School. Went on to play at the University of Maryland for four years. Been playing professional basketball for going, this will be my eighth season. Uh, I did a book called Never Satisfying After This Battle, where pretty much I, I talk about my experiences starting how I play basketball to where I'm at now and all the adversity that I faced along the way. Basically, kind of to, to, have to help parents and uh, kids or anyone with their goals, dreams, or obstacles that they may face uh, along their journey. That's awesome, man. So, I mean, when did this book start? Did you start, like, when you were overseas? Or what triggered it to really get this book started and take, like, massive action on this, you know? Well, what happened was I gave a, a young man that I know who watched me play at DeMatha and then at Maryland and knew me for a few years after that. Uh, he asked for some advice. You know, he wanted to play college basketball. He asked for some advice on just life and just, you know, the things that I faced or went through along my process. Okay. I was talking to him for almost two and a half hours outside, you know. That's what I like to do. I like to, you know, help younger player younger players as much as I can. Mm -hmm. And I was just basically just being as transparent as I can with him about everything that I faced along my journey. A lot of things he didn't know about, which a lot of people don't because at first, you know, it was I was a private guy and like my business out there in, right. in the street, so I kept a lot to myself. Um, but I, when, I, when I'm with younger athletes or, or people, period, to try to help them, I try to give them the insight of things that I faced and overcame. So later on, he uh, contacted. I was in Turkey. He contacted me on Facebook, I believe, and you know, said he's been looking for me, and and he basically just told me that. Uh, he thanked me for the advice that I gave and also said that I inspired him. And I was just like, it's, it's, a, it's cool, man. That's what we older players, that's what we're supposed to do. It's like, right. an that's what we're supposed to do. Exactly. And um, later on, as he was talking, he said, I should go ahead and, and do a book and share my story in the book, you know. And I was hesitant, like I said, because I don't like my business out there on the yeah. streets. And, and um, thinking about it more and more and, and, what it could do for younger players or parents or anyone, you know, I started getting more into it and, and exactly. found it to be an obligation to do it. So yeah. that's, that's awesome right there. Like you said, you're a leader. I mean, on the basketball court, a really popular athlete. I mean, you played the math, which is a really powerhouse school in the DC area, went to Maryland. I mean, I grew up, I think every kid in the DC area grew up thinking I want to go to Maryland or either Georgetown. So uh -huh. they looked up to you as a public figure, and when you give advice and you can inspire people, that speaks volumes for you and what you're doing in the community for your neighborhood you grew up in. And now you put it all into a book. Not only is it going to help that one kid, but it's helping many more kids who purchase that book and and want to get the insight of a, a professional athlete who went through all those things. So. Is there any part in your book that you would like to share with us that you want to emphasize more on and, and really want to share with athletes and people in general? Um, it's, 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 a, it's a lot. You know, it, it all depends on... Because like I said, the, the book is uh, it's based on my basketball experience. Exactly. But also I talk about things that I dealt with off the court. Exactly. Um, you know, whether it's education, right. talking about how me not, for example... Um, me not taking Spanish class seriously. Exactly. And now I, I played in a few Spanish-speaking countries, and me not being 
to speak the language or understand it because I didn't take classes serious during that time. Exactly. You know, so it's kind of saying that the the bad decisions I made in my past caught up with me in my future. You understand? Exactly. Um, that's an example. Or if you want to okay. talk about how my education by not taking school serious during the school year, that I had to go to summer school every summer yeah. when I was in high school, and that kept me from going to play in ABCD camp, Nike camp. Exactly. So basically for more exposure, things that I wanted to do, I couldn't do during the summertime. And I'm going I'm to piggyback off that one because I believe a lot of times the off the court, off the field activities, your responsibilities, not having those priorities organized can negatively impact athletes on the court. Like you said, you're not taking care of your Spanish class. You know, that hurts you on the court, not as much, but it hurts you going to those foreign countries, not being able to speak it or not being able to go to training in the summer with top high school teams and, and coaches to scout you because you didn't take care of some classes, you know, while you had that time. So it's really important that your off the court uh, activities are, you know, help you with on the court. Can you kind of elaborate and follow that a little bit? Uh, basically, you know, right, especially nowadays, you know, education is, is more important in the sense of a lot of coaches or high level D1 schools, they are looking, or any schools, to be honest. Exactly. I like in that case, you know, you can be skilled, but if you don't have the grades, then they ain't, they don't, they're not even going to think twice because there's so many athletes getting caught up that's ineligible and things of that nature. So the coaches or the school don't want to waste their time. You know, they'd rather take a player who's average, that has good grades, than take a guy who's very skilled, who doesn't have the grades at all. They don't even want to waste their time. And with the SATs, is about to go up. You know, it's, I just yeah. saw the new requirements is about to take place, and it's like, man, like if I was in school back then, it'd be. <laughs> if, I, if I was in school now, how they, the, the things that they're trying to implement, I'm like, man, it'd be very tough. So it's just, you know, the key for parents, and parents is a key takes a, a a key part in it because they still live in the household with the, with their with their kids is to make sure that the kids take care of the education. That's the most important key. Instead of make sure your kid get. Uh, practice on time or, or or training and all this other stuff that if their school ain't taken care of, then it doesn't even matter what they're doing off the court. Exactly. <laughs> I, I, I totally agree. And that's when part of life after sports come in. We want athletes, both current and former, to be active off the court and really be involved in the community, their academics, their education, their health and well-being, to catapult them as well with their sports to the next level so it's not only just focused on athletics, but like you said, the academics, what other things they want to do in life. So that is, it, it, it's, it's all together. We want to help to see athletes yeah. have success in life. You know? Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, it's an honor and privilege to have you on here. Uh, we're really excited about your book. How can people stay updated with your book and, and even purchase the book? Uh, they can go to my website, www.neversatisfiedtg.info. Or the book is also available on Amazon as well. Awesome. And, I'm on, and I'm on Facebook, you know, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, okay. Instagram, so yeah, they keep up with me. Now, now, if your fans and, and people who do not know you want to stay updated, can you give them like a more detail how Facebook, like the, the page name or the Twitter name at all? Or they uh, type your name? Uh, the Twitter name is Garrison Hoops, at Garrison Hoops. Okay. And as well as on Instagram is at the Garrison Hoops. Okay. Um, okay. Um, on Facebook, I believe it's... Uh, backslash okay. Travis Garrison, I believe. Right. I'm not gonna be honest, man. I think that's that's backslash Travis Garrison. So right. you take my name and you'll find me. Okay. And I want to shift away from the book for a sec. Uh, you're a family man. Your your husband. Your I mean, you got beautiful children. Tell us a little about your family and that aspect. How it changed your life. Oh man. Um, He's smiling, man. It's, it's got a smile. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've been uh, I've been married for. Five years this year. Congratulations. First, thank you. I have three kids, the oldest eight. I have a, a, my son just turned four on September 15th. My daughter just turned one on September 20th. Okay. Oh, man, it's just priorities, you know, puts things in priorities. Makes you, it makes you slow down, you know. It makes you realize what's more important in life, you know, take care of your family. You know, before that, it was more so... You know, hanging out with your boys or hitting the streets and things right. of that nature. But now it's more so uh, taking care of your family, you know, making sure everything's on track, making sure you spend the time with your kids, you know. So it's 
it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing, man. A lot of people, you know, that don't have kids, like, oh, man, I'll never have kids or <laughs> I don't, don't really appreciate this as much because they don't have kids and never experienced it. Right. But once you right. have kids, man, it's just, it's a beautiful thing, man. So it, it, it definitely uh, bright. Like, you can I come home for, from a bad day uh, at practice or a game or and talk to my kids, and then it, it changes like that, man. Just seeing their faces. They don't care about Travis Garrison, the athlete. It's more so daddy or the husband, you know? That's awesome, man. And are you involved in your community at all? I mean, I know you, you're in Suitland area still, but are you pretty much involved at all? Yes, absolutely. I'm, I'm actually trying to do uh, – I, I don't really want to talk too much about it because it's, 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 I'm still in the process, but I'm trying to do something in the, the Suitland area right okay. now. You know, in in the source, in the sense of giving back and okay. um, trying to help those who supported me throughout my career and still support me to this day. And also, I do a lot of other things. Um, my manager who helps me, help me with my book, uh, named Sam Harris, he has a foundation called Dreams Do Come True. Okay, and he does a lot of stuff in the community. So we team up to do a lot of different things. So it's a lot. It's a lot going. I'm involved pretty That's much good. With, with a lot of different things, man. It's not just one thing. It's a, it's a lot of different foundations or organizations or you can find me pretty much in a lot of different places man it's well, random well that's good man and you know we know you're doing more than just sports because you are more than just an athlete and we value and appreciate you come on the show travis garrison son husband father author professional basketball player role model he is more than just an athlete travis thank you so much for being on the show we look forward to featuring you on, on, on a, another video feature, maybe coming to you and, and kind of getting an interview and seeing how your world is as a parent. And uh, we wish you much success with your professional career, your book, all your future endeavors, my friend. Salute. Thank you very much for having me.